and myself are going to Paris. <laughs> we're at the airport right now, online. Our flight got delayed an hour, so we're getting into Paris an hour later than we were hoping, but it's still gonna be great. We're still gonna have lots of fun. Lots of my itinerary, we're going for three days. It's gonna be wonderful. That's mainly it. Our Airbnb is right by the Eiffel Tower, which is really fun. And it's supposed to be really warm in Paris, so I'm excited for that. And yeah, that's really all I can think of. I'm just excited. I'm just excited, okay. See you there. <laughs> This is it, <laughs> but adorable. Oh, what a cute little view. Oh, and there's the Eiffel Tower. Oh my gosh. And our host got us these, which is so, so sweet. A little Paris bar and waters. How sweet. the first night review of Paris so far. We haven't really like done too much. We basically just walked around and looked at the Eiffel Tower a lot. <laughs> Many different angles. angles. But I enjoyed it a lot. The Eiffel Tower is actually was really so pretty. Good. It was so pretty. I really like the city in general. I think it's wherever like we are in the city at least, like by the Eiffel Tower is gorgeous. Especially now because it's like spring, summertime, so it's warm, it's so green. You can like wear dresses and like oh it's just so many so many vibes. Yeah, it's so it's nice. Cute and just bright. I was saying to Leah, it kind of reminds me of like New York City. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but it, it just does. And you can't really tell me otherwise, that's just what it reminds me of. <laughs> so far we haven't gotten anything stolen that I'm aware of. No, I don't think so. Even, I think we're good. Yeah. As far as I know. Hopefully. I I've been told that <laughs> there are lots of pickpockets, so... I'm just hoping that we're, we're being careful. Well. We're, we're being, being very careful. careful. Our apartment is very tiny, but I love it. She's adorable. It's really cute. It's really cute. Oh. It's right by the Eiffel Tower. It's like five minute walk away. You can see the Eiffel Tower from the window, as you saw earlier. Yeah. And we have like four locks on the door, which is, I feel very safe. It's like here. Oh, they're, they're all, they're all, they're yeah. all locked. They're all... they're all locked. Mm -hmm. No one's getting in. <laughs> and yeah, we had a little picnic in the park by the Eiffel Tower, which is really nice. Oh, I like cute. that. We had a baguette, big baby oh, bell cheese. Oh, massive baby bell cheese, like this size. Massive. Mm -hmm. um, gummies and... Um, like corn like, muffins with raspberry filling. Is that what they're called? I don't know. Like that's an exact, like the long name. Yeah. I feel like there's definitely something shorter. I don't know what it is though. But they're very nice. They're really good. There's lots of them mm -hmm. here. We, yeah. Our host left us some, but just the regular corn muffins. And then we bought some filled with raspberry. And they're, they're great. Delicious. I would highly recommend. Mm -hmm. And I, we went to one of the gift shops, which I don't think I filmed, um, but there are lots of like gift shop stands also just as you're walking the street, like everywhere, mm -hmm. or there's people just laying blankets out, selling Eiffel Towers everywhere, <laughs> walking up to you, selling beer and wine yeah. everywhere. So there's lots of people trying to interact with you at all times of the day, which is something. But yeah, <clears throat> so far, I love it. It is really nice. It's it really is so nice. nice. I'm loving the city. Those are my thoughts so far. Any other thoughts? No, I'm just excited for tomorrow. And we're gonna be having an early night because yeah. we're kind of wrecked. Yeah, we're so. very <laughs> And that's that's it. That's it. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>
Welcome friends. So it's the end of day two. We were possibly gonna go out, but we're not anymore. So it is the end. And I thought we would tell you about everything we did today and our thoughts on it and our thoughts on France and Paris in general. From the start. From the start. Follow our itinerary, let's go. Mm -hmm. We went on a boat cruise on the River Seine and I thought that was really nice. It was cute. It wasn't like anything crazy. Like you were just kind of sitting on a boat going down the river looking at stuff. But yeah, but you got to see like everything. You see and everything. It was relaxing. Yeah, it was um, and it was nice to see the city from the water. And then with that ticket, we also got tickets to the Louvre, which was humongous. I was like in there and I was thinking, that this is the biggest museum I've ever been to and I was like surely this is the biggest <laughs> museum in the world it's gotta be this thing is humongous like I can't think of any museum that's bigger and so we looked up and it is the biggest museum in the world so check that out on the bucket list I did not see nearly everything in it we have made a good stab at it though we yeah we saw a, a decent amount I feel like if you're going to Paris you definitely could spend like the entire day at the Louvre if you really like museums yeah. like it is absolutely ginormous. We did see the Mona Lisa. She was bigger than I expected because everyone says she's really tiny, so I literally expected her to be like this it, big. Yeah. And she was not. She was like, she was like this big. Yeah. Like, like this big. She was big, big enough. Yeah, I definitely don't understand exactly why it's so famous. No. I, yeah, I don't get it because in Italy you have like the Mona Lisa and then you have all these other amazing paintings right beside it. Yeah. Like, and all the other, like, millions of rooms are just filled with paintings. Yeah. There's so many paintings. Like, insanely detailed paintings. Insanely detailed, insanely big. Like, they're the ones that are, like, whole walls big, essentially. Yeah. And so many tiny details in them, like, I don't understand how they were done. I don't get it either. I... And no, like, references to be used. Because you can't, like, really reference, like, a war battle scene. Like, no one's gonna stand Stay there. <laughs> I don't think. I'm pr like, I'm pretty sure they weren't hiring um, models to no. go to war and paint. <laughs> and it is cool from the outside. It is. We somehow got in without waiting online. I wish sure. I could tell you how to do that. I really don't know. We just went up to the woman, showed our ticket, and she just motioned us away from the line, and we yeah, went in. I have no idea, because literally, the line was like, there was a huge a line. huge line. And if you look it up, it says you're supposed to wait like an hour or so, and busy peak times. Yeah. yeah. We waited like, it was like five minutes. Maybe it's because we got our tickets ahead of time. Like, I have absolutely no idea. And just the Louvre in general is really pretty because, like, with the park next to it, too, that we went to. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I put the name in the vlog. It's the only park we went to, so you'll know what it is. It was gorgeous. Everything in Paris is actually absolutely gorgeous, I feel like. Like, everywhere we go, I'm like, I want to take a pic. It's so, it's nice. I know that's a random building, but I want to take a pic. <laughs> oh, we went and we saw what is there right now for the Notre Dame because it was burned down if you're uncultured and don't listen to the news in like 2019. So she's still being rebuilt. So we just kind of saw what was there, which was gorgeous. I mean, yeah, what we saw was, we saw was nice. Yeah. Um, and then we went to the Pantheon, which was really nice. We went to the crypt underneath, which is really cool. I definitely didn't know many of the people in there, but some of them, like I would read what it said about them. I'd be like, oh, I know this dude. Yeah. I know what yeah. he did. I don't know him, but I know what he did. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Which is so strange. And just, if we're just walking around into all the different rooms, it's so, it's so big as well. It's so big. And the Pantheon is gorgeous, like with the art and everything and the architecture um, inside as well. It's really nice. We also went to a vintage shop. Oh, we went to the shopping mall. Oh, we went to a shopping mall. We didn't buy anything, but we were walking no, around no, it. It's it was so huge. big. Oh my God. So big. There's so many people in it just like sitting around, living their lives. So it's fun so to watch. Cool. But it was like so many stories and it was indoors and outdoors and it was... Yeah. It was like everything. <laughs> I don't know if I even got many clips of it. I'm not going to lie. I don't think I did. And then we went to a vintage shop nearby, which was probably the best secondhand vintage. I don't really know which one it was store that I've ever been to because there were so many nice things and it was so inexpensive. Usually, because I go thrifting a lot, the thrift stores, not that they're very expensive, the ones I go to, but they definitely weren't this cheap. Like they had like a one euro section, which I never see. And it was piled with stuff and then even the the nicer like clothes were like mostly just five euro yeah some of it was so reasonably priced yeah and the like, big jackets were like 20 euro which yeah. is really good for thick jackets like, i got this jacket for like 25 i think I must have a nice jacket but like mm -hmm. all these kind of vintage kind of jackets because usually whenever i try to look for them 
can never find a nice one. Yeah. And one that's like reasonably priced. So exactly. That's why I was like, I gotta take it. Okay. Yeah. Get to steal. We went to some souvenir shops. We have been to a bunch of souvenir shops that we've been like looking at the prices to see which is the best. And we found one that I think had like the best prices that we had seen. Yeah. So we just bought stuff there. And I was very happy. I feel like this is the least amount that I've spent on souvenirs in a long, long time. Mm -hmm. And I still got a lot. And he gave me a free little Eiffel Tower keychain. So cute. After I purchased it, I, he just was like, here, and gave me the keychain. I was like, <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. We went to dinner at Cafe de Paris or something. That's what I thought. I, I actually really liked it because it was cute. a lot of the places we were looking at were extremely expensive. Um, and we did not really want to spend that much money, but we still wanted to like have a sit down dinner. And this was pretty good. We spent like 26 bucks each for a meal and a drink, which I don't think is that bad for Paris. But we were about looking at like places on like some like really good places. Like it was just so yeah. expensive. Like a meal was like 50 euro. Like, yeah, I was like, I don't really want to spend that. I'm not really want to spend it. So this was a nice place. We got cheeseburgers, which are good, with fries. And they have mocktails also for my sober friends out there. <laughs> and then we went to the Arc de Triomphe and we climbed up to the top. And we saw the whole city. And it was so pretty. I'm really glad that we oh, um, that so did cool. that. Especially opposed to going up the Eiffel Tower, because I like I don't think you would have had that good of a view from up top of the Eiffel Tower. No, you would have seen the no. city, but it wouldn't have been as good as the Arc de Triomphe. And you get to like see the Eiffel Tower so well. Yeah. And just see how it's like in the center, and you can yeah. see all the boats come off of it. It's so cute. It's so freaking cool. Like, um, it is a lot of stairs though. So. It has 284 stairs. Do with that information what you will. So it is very tall. It, it's a lot of stairs. There's no elevator. But definitely worth it. And then we went to the store afterwards. We're really loving friend picks. Is that what it's called? Oh, yes. Yes. We're loving friend picks. It's the very popular grocery store chain here. That's everywhere. We got some food there yesterday. I had a very, very tiny one where everyone was squished inside. And then today we went to one that was a lot bigger and we were the only really, people inside. It was really nice though. It was really nice. They had yeah. lots of stuff. They did not have macarons, but they had lots of stuff and it was yeah. only us and the workers. So we were yeah. not smushed. <laughs> and we got mango juice. Which I'm very happy about. You're really loving it. I'm really loving the mango juice. I got myself a little bit of wine. Yeah. A really cheap wine. It was like three something. Slaying. Yeah. And the Metro, actually, my thoughts on the Metro are not that bad. I say the Metro's pretty good. I was a little off put by it when we first got here because it doesn't have the amount of signs that it should mm -hmm. to tell you where to go. And I'm a little bit peeved about that. But it's not that like we figured it out both times and it really didn't take you that long to figure it, it out we kind of just walk around a little bit we're like yeah that's definitely it yeah so it's not that hard to figure out whatever it's pretty it's handy it's it is handy it's cheap enough so and yeah it's like two, two euro yeah two, two euro and ten cents yeah. to go yeah so like and like it's not that bad it'll take you like all of the city because we've been walking all over the city all day yeah we're very tired especially since we were barely eating until dinner I didn't have time to stop it <laughs> absolutely not and so for like one of the last home stretches that was supposed to be like 40 minutes we we're like we'll just take the metro like i really don't want to walk another 40 <laughs> minutes so we just did that and it took like 12 minutes and it was so easy and we got to see the Eiffel tower sparkle exactly. i love the sparkling Eiffel tower actually i think it's Oh, is it sparkling right now? She's sparkling it's right now. <laughs> Friends, she's sparkling right now, actually. You see? I know I already filmed it, but there she is again. Sorry, guys. As we were talking, I looked at the time. I was like, oh my gosh, she should be on. She sparkles for five minutes. That's so cute. At like 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock. Um, so I'm very happy that she's sparkling. But yeah, I love the sparkling Eiffel Tower so much. However... Being around the Eiffel Tower is a bit scary because I feel like I'm gonna get pickpocketed. And there are a lot of people in Paris at all hours of the day, all yeah. places, sit, trying to sell you something on the street. Um, my word of advice is just ignore it and ignore them and do not look at them or talk to them. I just aggressively shake your head <laughs> angrily if they try and speak to you and don't say anything back. That's what I do. And it seems to work. No one's really like me too much yet. I feel like they'll just pickpocket me. I feel like I'll uh -huh. I'll go up, I'll stop, and I'll look at what they're doing, and someone will come by and snatch something off of me. And also, contrary to popular belief, I actually have not had a bad encounter with a French person yet. No. I was really, really expecting for the Parisians to be actually really nasty to me, and I've not had a bad experience yet. No, they've actually been really nice so yeah. far. Every store we've went into, they've been nice. The one guy gave me an Eiffel Tower when I bought the, the, yeah. the stuff at his place. Um, our waiter was really nice. The guy in the crepe place is so nice. 
Yeah, like, everyone that we've spoken to has been really nice, yeah. and we have not been speaking French to them, we've fully just been speaking English, because I'm not, like, I don't know French, <laughs> and I have also heard that they will speak English back yeah. if you speak French, well, I'm like, that's just not gonna happen, I'm not gonna embarrass no, myself. My French is so minimal, I'm like, I feel like they'll just laugh at me if I try, I thought, well, I just assume they'll laugh at me if I try to speak French to English, but they seem, like, they're kind of okay with, I think there's just, must be just used to tourists, and just... I would say so, because there's so many tourists, They just changed to, to English, but, like, I yeah. just assume that they'd be mad if they did that. But no, yeah, but they always seem fine. The guy at the, the uh, thrift shop, too, was really funny. Yeah. <laughs> he was just, like, <laughs> mocking you, but, like, not in a mean way, in, like, a funny way. In a funny way, because he just asked, because he was, like, talking to me, and then I was like, oh, card, and so he was like, card? <laughs> <laughs> and he kept saying, he was like, card. <laughs> Like he was smiling when he was saying it. it wasn't like yeah, he was like, like huh. card. Yeah, I do really like it. I'd say nine out of ten so far. Only not a ten, really, because I'm just scared that someone's gonna pickpocket me. Like everything else, I love, Good. and also because I don't speak the language. That's my own fault, though. <laughs> Those are our thoughts. Tomorrow we're going to Palace of Versailles. Any other thoughts? I'm excited for tomorrow. I don't really want to go home. Yeah, I really like it here. I think yeah, I just I like it here. It's it's really nice. And yeah. Fun. The city's gorgeous, the weather has been nice since we've been here, which makes it me happier. It has been. It rained when we were, we timed so well, it rained when we were in getting our food yeah. for dinner. And then by the time we finished, it stopped. On our way home, it did rain. It did rain, unfortunately, on the walk home, yes. But it was fine. It was fine. It was fine. Um, I had my happy daddy jacket over my head. Mm -hmm. Ellie, I just got wet. I thought I was chilling. I was holding my, my bottle, oh. keeping an eye out to whack anyone who tried <laughs> to mess with us. That's it. That's the end of day two. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>